daughter? Wake up. You might be late for the trip. Sorry, Mom. I forgot to tell you our trip will be postponed. Why? What happened? Andri called last night and told me that we have to reschedule the trip because he had some urgent matters to attend to in Kiev, so he had to leave. We'll just head out tonight, or tomorrow morning. Oh, thank God. I thought something bad happened. No, no. Then that's great. You'll have another day off. You can rest. You'll need energy. Mm -hmm. Moving out is... is really... Exhausting at times. Yes. And I'll have more time with you. Mm hmm I love you so much. Mikhail Tchaikovsky. Yes. The National Award of the Crystal Scalpel. Today in Kiev, the Crystal Scalpel Awards will be solemnly handed over to the winners for great achievement in the sphere of plastic surgery. Among this year laureates are, for instance, a famous plastic surgeon, Mikhail Tchaikovsky, who has already achieved glory of a master of his craft both in Ukraine and in other countries. <laughs> this criminal will be awarded. Unbelievable. After the solemn ceremony, an after party will take place in the capital's country club. This is interesting. Yes, come in. Hmm. What's new? We already have the results from the experts. Oh, let me see. We found traces of blood on the ruby ring in the scene. Mm hmm. It's a perfect match for the late Victor Buhai's blood type. Mm hmm. This is expected. Intuition is a great thing. By the way, do you have any idea where the complete results will be released? Well, I hope in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Here are the resumes of the candidates for Yana's vacancy. It'll be hard to find a decent replacement for her. There's nothing we can do now. Yana decided to move on, so we have to replace her. I'll check them later, okay? Okay. She's irreplaceable. Hi, honey. Hi. Sorry I overslept and didn't see you in the morning. I left early, too. Your mom asked me to bring books to the orphanage. It's been a very long day. I even saw... Mm. Lyudmila Romanivna. She sends her condolences to the whole family. I assured her that we'd continue helping the children. I'm sure that's what your dad would have wanted us to do. Thank you, I appreciate it. Honey, I understand what you're going through, but you shouldn't always think about it. Do you want to have lunch now? I heard of a new seafood restaurant in the center. They really have good food there. No, I don't have time for that right now. I really need to go. May I know where you're going? To my dad's grave. May I go with you? I'll go alone. It's up to you. Soon enough, you'll forget my sister. And I'll be closer to you. Always.
How much garlic did you add to the filling? I wasn't measuring. My hands remember the portions. Uh huh. I just follow my instinct all the time. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Let me check it myself. It smells like there's a kilo of garlic there. I'm sorry I got distracted. I didn't notice. Mm -hmm. You've been failing to notice many things recently. Uh huh. Lately, you've been acting so strange. Tell me about it. Luba. What? Are you jealous again? Uh -huh. I'm a changed man already. And how can I be sure of that? Should I be jealous? I'm just saying that I noticed you've been acting strange recently, and you're not telling me why. You wasted it. Now we have to throw this out. Why don't you open the exhaust? I'm having a hard time breathing here. I'll go outside. I need to get some fresh air. <sighs> I really miss you so much, Dad. I'm really having a hard time and I've never realized what a child I have been before. We stay kids while our parents are alive. Recently I really learned so much. I know you always dreamt that I would become a worthy heir and take the responsibility of managing the company. You also wanted me to be happy, like you and Mom. Unfortunately, I just lost the woman whom I really loved, Dad. I will never see her again. So I won't promise you that. I will be happy. But I'll never leave mom, granny or my sister. I'll always watch over them. I'll do everything for them to be happy. I'll be a worthy son of my father the head of our family and the director of our family business. Eat well, Hannah. Thank you. I gotta go. You're not eating? Why are you in a hurry? Mm, I'll just eat somewhere. Got some errands. Are those personal errands or for work? Personal, of course. I have a date. With Zoriana. Of course. Bye. Bye. Mm, Petro, what's up? Danilo just left the house. Looks like he's in a hurry. Where did he go? He's got a date with Zoriana. How interesting. All right. Follow him and keep me posted. I'll be there soon. As you wish, my friend. I'm leaving now. Can you please stop that now? Where is he? She said they should leave before dinner. Shall we spend the night here or what? Something always goes wrong when you plan stuff with women. There he is. There he is at last.
Let's just stay here first. He might see us. I can't even move. You're stepping on my foot. What are those two doing here? There he is. Do you think... He saw us? I don't know. Look, look. Why don't you look at him yourself? Hold on. What happened? We're here. The taxi with the subject is not heading west, but it's heading towards Kiev. He's alone without the girl. Alone? To Kiev? Why did he go there? Why are you asking us? How should we know? What are we going to do? Just continue following him. Don't let him out of your sight. We need to know why he went to Kiev. Just update me if something comes up. Why did Andre go to Kiev? This might be a problem. Hi, Dad. I visited Mom's grave already. It's been a while. I'm leaving the country tomorrow, and I want to say goodbye before I leave. I'm going to Poland. Yes, it'll be for the best. Don't worry about me, Dad. I'm doing this for everyone, and I know that it's the right choice. Goodbye, Dad. Yana? Hi, I thought you left. Hi. What happened? No, something came up and we're leaving tonight or tomorrow morning. Did you visit your father? Yes, and you? Yes, I visited my father and... A relative? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to say goodbye to them. I see. Do you want to get some coffee? We don't know when we'll see each other again after this. Sure, let's go. Who's there? It's me, Danilo. Come in, it's not locked. Good afternoon. Hello. You look much better today. I feel much better. I had enough sleep and thankfully I didn't feel dizzy today. And that's all because of you. It's true, I feel much better when you're around. But I have nothing to do with it. It was those pills that helped you. The doctor really knows everything. Mm. Being a doctor is so fulfilling. Mm. Every day you have an opportunity to help other people. So, is she your new friend? Listen... I... I will explain everything to you. Shut up. Once a liar, always a liar. And you're teaching my son to lie too. Dad, calm down. Lada didn't tell me not to tell you about this. Oh, I hate family arguments. 
I'll just go outside and give you the space you guys need. Excuse me. I can't believe that you lied to me, Danilo. How could you? Calm down, I can explain everything. I don't know and I don't want to know. She abandoned you. I raised you myself. And now your motherly instincts suddenly came to you? I told you to leave, then why do you even come back? Wow, I can't believe this. They met after so many years, but this is good. Let them talk and sort it out. Hey, Mr. Oh, Courier. You! Where's my husband? Uh, you know, I haven't seen Petro today yet. Uh-huh. Tell me the truth, where's Petro? Is he there? Don't uh, lie to me or I'll smack uh, you. Why would he be here? He's at the restaurant. You're a liar. I saw both of you earlier. What's the number of the apartment? I think it's number 10. Uh, now a real Armageddon is about to start. My nerves aren't made of steel. Sort it out yourselves, my friends. Dad, I beg you, sit down. Just give me a minute to explain. Give me a chance to explain myself at least. What do I need to understand? You have no idea who you're dealing with. Just let me explain for once, for my sake. I'm listening. Look, Pedro. I understand that you'll never be able to forgive me for the things that I did in the past. But you need to know the reason why. Danilo and I... Liba, what are you doing here? You better tell me what you're doing here, Petro. And who this lady is. This lady is my mother. The coffee's good. It's Espresso Romano. We both love it. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they have the same coffee in Poland. I don't know. Yeah, I, I want to say something to you. Just an hour ago, I thought that I had lost you forever. But fate gave me another chance. Don't say it. No, fate gave the both of us a chance. I love you. I've really been in love with you for a long time. I'm sorry, but I felt the need to let you know. This is my last chance. I may never see you again. Please stay with me. Here in Cherkasy. It's too late, Dennis. So this means... You knew all along that your ex-wife was in Cherkasy and kept it from me? I didn't know that she was here. I thought that she left already. Petro, enough. I can't believe you did this to me. I'm tired of your lies. Liba, listen, I'll explain everything to you later, but now I need to talk to Claudia and sort everything out. <laughs> of course. You haven't seen each other for ages. I'll give you time to catch up. Liba. I'll go ahead now. Liba. Liba. We'll talk later. Liba, wait! Liba, wait for me! Bon appétit! Hello? Hi, Anna! Oh, uh, where's Mom? In the kitchen. I'll call her. No, no need. There might be some mortars coming in. I'll just be the one to call her later tonight. Mm-hmm. You're right. Zoryana, can you tell me something? How is Yana and Andre doing? Is everything all right? Did they leave on time? I called her, but she won't answer, and I'm kind of worried about my sister. As far as I know, they haven't left. Yana's still here in Cherkasi. Really? Yes, but they're leaving tomorrow. Hmm, I didn't know they were still here. Uh, do you know why? Something came up, and Andre suddenly had to do business in Kiev. And what business could that be? Mm, I 
don't know. Okay. Thank you so much. See you. Bye. Thanks for coming. Mama Oya, the bill. Mm hmm. Thank you. That's it. I guess that's it. What had to happen, happened. But both my dad and Liu are good. You don't have to feel bad. No. I understand her. I know what your dad and Liu was going through right now. It's just that when I saw Liu, she reminded me so much of your late grandmother. Mm hmm. Petra's mother. She was. as loud as her. <laughs> no, that's actually nothing yet. Dad was always a little bit scared of Granny, but when Liuba is angry, it's really different. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, you okay? <laughs> I think you just got carried away. Hold on. <clears throat> Here. No, no, no. I'm all right. It's just that I got overwhelmed when you called me, Mother. I've never been this happy before. You're such a good kid. No, Mom. I'm just a normal guy. Mm hmm No, you're not. Get off me, you liar. Libo, please let me explain. I don't want to hear it. It's none of your business. Don't interfere, Zoyana. Listen to me, I'll explain everything. Shut up, you liar. Libo, I'm not lying. Back off, Petro, unless you want me to break this jar over your head. Libo, Libo, please calm down. All right, why don't you explain everything to me? Tell me the truth. Do you still love her? Be honest with Liba, me. you're the only woman that I love, but Danila was there. She is his mother. Mm -hmm. I just had to sort things out. Listen to me, Liuba. Why? To listen to your fairy tales again? I don't believe you. You don't? Get out of here. I don't want to see or hear you ever again. Don't come home tonight. Just go to your Claudia and you can both go to hell. Just get out of my sight. But I will. Hey, you guys, can you stop this now? You guys are embarrassing, my God. What happened? Did you guys fight again? <laughs> now we're absolutely sure that the blood on the stone that we found on the scene, now we're positive, is Victor Buhai's blood. Hmm. So it's Victor Buhai's blood. I think that's irrelevant. I don't think that it has a direct connection to this case at all. Well, what are you trying to say? I'll try to explain it to you. For example, somebody lost a ruby stone for a week or even a year. And then, all of a sudden, at the time of the crime, the blood dripped on the stone accidentally, like on the grass around it. You're a genius. Uh, maybe that's how it really all happened. Of course. It would make no sense for us to declare the ruby stone as evidence anyway. It might just complicate the investigation. It's better to focus on other leads. I totally understand. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we first got there, we didn't see the ruby. Yeah, I'm really amazed with a professional like me. <laughs> Likewise, my friend. Yes. I'll get to work now. Good luck. Thank hey. you. Uh, by the way, if I were you, I would not sell the ruby at all. The work, the color, and the size, it's not an ordinary ruby. It must be a personalized one. Such stones have some special names and special numbers in the jewelry registers. So it won't be hard to find the real owner of the ring. 
Yes, thank you for the advice. Hmm, I really appreciate all the information that I learned today. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye. See you. Hmm. <clears throat> yes, at last. So who owns the stone? I need to find out soon. Where do I start? Interesting. Interesting indeed. Please stop defending him. All along I knew he was a liar, but I never imagined him to be like this. Why did I trust that Kaluzhny at all? Liuba, can't you see it? Petra really loves you. I can see very clearly. Just mind your own business. Liuba, calm down. Just talk to Petro. Don't worry, it's gonna be all right. Oh, yeah, you don't understand. What's gonna be his excuse? I just caught him in the act. He's with that girl. He went to her because he's in love with her, and I mean nothing for him. How long have you been craving for pickles? Instead of being mad at Petro, better go to the pharmacy and buy a pregnancy test. Go ahead, it's affordable. Hey, Dennis. Excuse me, can we talk for a while? Sure, Lesia. It, it's about the current vacancy in our department. I met one of our employees. His name is Hannah Zizou. He's just a courier, but with initiative. He personally brought us a couple of new clients. He also came up with interesting ideas about future ads that we can use. Very good. How may I help? Sorry, I got carried away. But really... He's a real talent. He has neither education nor experience of work in advertising, but he's good. I see. Don't worry. I know that guy. I'll just have to see the ads first. Thank you. Is that all? Yes. Come on. Let's have another shot for our friendship, huh? Let's do it. Uh, I... I almost forgot. I'm going out for a walk. I'll see you later, guys. <clears throat> I can't believe it. I never taught you how to lie. I'm really sorry for lying to you, Dad. But I couldn't tell the truth because of your attitude towards Lada. He just went in and started yelling at her. If Lada wasn't in Tricasi all along, then that would not have happened. But I don't want her to leave, Dad. No matter what happened, that woman is still my mother. She's important to me, and you should know that. And by the way, she had something to tell you. Should have just listened to her instead of drinking with Henna. Because of your mother, Liuba got mad at me. I lied again. I'll talk to her and I'll explain everything. I promise she'll understand. No, son, no need to. These are my problems. I got this. I'll sort them out with Liuba and... And your mother. Excellent! The great sculptor Michelangelo... What did he say? Every block of stone has a statue inside it, and it is the task of the sculptor to discover it. Mm -hmm. The same goes for us. We the plastic surgeons, we are like instruments of God. We have the ability to correct certain imperfections. We experience it like no one else, and it makes us feel like God. <laughs> Isn't that so? 
Yes, you're right. Uh -huh. And this is why we are following your footsteps, Master. Uh, have you seen my phone? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Oh! Did you call a taxi? A taxi? Yes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a safe trip. Good luck. Good night. I love you. I've really been in love with you for a long time. I'm sorry, but I felt the need to let you know this is my last chance. I may never see you again. Please stay with me. Did you have a long day? Yes, I did. Did you do everything that you planned today? Yes, to be honest, I really want to go now. Uh, when will Andre come back from Kiev? I don't know. He must be busy. He hasn't called me all day, and I just don't want to bother him. But I hope he'll come soon. Mm. Yes. Really? Is this right? <sighs> Where are we going? We're almost there. To the glorious town on the Dnieper Cherkasy. I wasn't going to Cherkasy. I told you. To take me to Pachersky, right? Pachersky. Have you seen my phone? Did you see my cell phone? I can't lose that. It was a gift from my Swiss colleagues, damn it. No, I didn't. I didn't see. I don't know where I put it. I'm sure I had it a while ago. I know you. Your face looks familiar. I'm sure I've seen you before. I'm a professional plastic surgeon, Tchaikovsky. But not that Tchaikovsky who. Uh, that, 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 that. I'm Mikhailo Leonidovich Tchaikovsky. I have a photographic memory for faces. Good for you, Mr. Tchaikovsky. I know your name well, and I know what you do, too. How, if I may ask? You're a guest in one of the local shows. It's about plastic surgery. At the Cherkasy Embria TV. Then, after a conversation with one of the patients, you disappeared. That was so fast. Who are you? I used to be the director of that show. I know the miracle you performed with the sisters Anna and Jana. I can't believe it. The only thing I regret is that the public didn't find out. Maybe now's the perfect time to tell everybody about it. What are you trying to say? What do you want me to do? You're a renowned surgeon, Mr. Tchaikovsky. But you're a criminal, too. You ruined the fate of a person who was dear to me, and I'm not gonna let that happen again. I'm going to expose you. I remember. I remembered you came to the clinic when I was operating on one of the Matvienko sisters. <laughs> At last, your memory's back. You're not a maniac. Or a madman. If you want. I can tell you about it. Okay. I'll give you a chance. I'm listening. Whenever you're ready. <sighs> it was the patient's request. And I did what she asked. Brilliantly. Look, what does two lines mean? Isn't this a false positive? That's not a false positive. Those two lines mean you're pregnant. <laughs> oh, and I was wondering why she was suddenly craving for pickles. You'd never liked them before. I'm so happy. And I wondered why I was so irritable in the mornings. I was very cranky. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you were still cranky even when you weren't pregnant. Oh, come on. 
it's normal to feel nervous when you're pregnant, right? Yes, yes of course. course. My wish is your command now. Pregnant mm -hmm. women can do anything they want. <laughs> I can't wait. In a couple of months, I'll have a cousin. <laughs> what do you want? A girl or a boy? <laughs> Luba. <laughs> Luba, what is it? <laughs> Luba, why are you crying? <laughs> you, know, you should be happy. The baby is a blessing. <laughs> I was thinking if this baby will be a boy, he might grow up and be around bad company like his father Petro. I'm scared. <laughs> Since we're all girls in our family, I wish your baby will be a girl too. <laughs> <laughs> I believe life is really tougher for us girls compared to the boys, right? Because boys... Always cheat. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that happen. I'd kill for my baby, seriously. You must stop it. Your baby has a father. We both know that Petro's been a good father. Right, Petro still doesn't know. I don't even know where he is. Did you forget what happened? You told him to leave, remember? <clears throat> Hello, Petro. I need to tell you something really important. Hello. Luba, this is me, Henna. Henna, where's Petro? Do you know where he is? I need to talk to him. It's really important. Uh, Petro's right here. He's sleeping. This early? Oh, yes. He's actually beside me. On a folding bed. He's not worried about you guys fighting a lot lately. He's really feeling down. You know, Luba, we the males are very sensitive and sometimes we're not ourselves too you women should always consider that when starting a scandal go to hell and i don't need your advice i know i know you can just leave your message to me and i'll tell him when he wakes up i don't need anything from you i'll tell him everything myself okay then so goodbye luba i just want to wish you good luck and I hope you and Petro can settle your differences soon. Hmm? Hey, Petro. Remember, Henna saved you today. Maybe we should have woken him up? Liuba will show him tomorrow. She's offended and she was the first to call. The way you talked to her didn't help either. I was trying to divert her attention. Remember this. You can't always be nice to women. Because once they get a grip, you won't be able to throw them off. Why throw them off? Oh, don't tell me you forgot. You're the one who started this. So now, you should fix this. This unnecessary conflict between Luba and Petro is all your fault. If you told the truth, maybe... No conflict would happen. Maybe nothing will happen. Maybe we could have been worse. Okay, I'm going to sleep. I'm very tired. Okay. Go get some rest, kid. Listen. I'll tell you something important. Truth is like a mushroom. It will always get out. Don't ever forget that. Of course, if she didn't insist, I would never dare to do such a surgery. But she was not only insistent, but she was very brave too. It was a challenge for me. Brave enough to make you do what you're not supposed to. You're not an expert, so sit and listen quietly. I told her before. I told her about what to expect from it. One tiny mistake and she could be a vegetable for the rest of her life or even die and she took the risk. Do you know what she said? Just do it. <laughs> I saw such a determined and self-confident lady. I couldn't believe it. You knew that you didn't have a right to do such a surgery. Her sister was alive, but she was in a coma. Even the doctors didn't give her a chance. That's why I had to act fast. I knew that it was my only chance. Nobody in the world has ever performed such a brilliant and complicated surgery, and I did it. Do no harm. You took your Hippocratic oath. That's a medical ethic, and you violated it. You have to understand. 
Without the risk, medicine would never move forward at all. I kept a diary during that surgery. I made a couple of genius discoveries. I didn't just create new faces for the Matvienko sisters, I created exact copies of their faces before the surgeries. <sighs> and even their mother couldn't see the difference. <sighs> I wish you knew how much I want to tell the world about it. I wish I could tell my colleagues about it. I actually understand it very well. What I don't get is, didn't your conscience bother you, even a bit, for what you've done? With your scalpel, you cut not only the face, but also the fate of the person who didn't do you any harm. Look, I didn't feel anything. No qualms of the conscience. It was God who was holding the scalpel that time. It was really Him. I don't really expect you to understand. Yes, I'm listening. The subject is returning to Cherkasi. He has some guy with him. We don't know who he is. What does he look like? Describe him. I can't tell. It was kind of dark when he got into the subject's car. The surgeons had a party in the Kiev Country Club. I heard the man was talking about some operation in plastic surgery with a guy who I think is also a surgeon. I'm positive. Operation? Surgery? Are you sure? I see. Listen to me carefully. Do everything you can to make sure those two won't reach Cherkasi. These guys are dead. Let's go. No need for us to stay here. Hello, this is me. The job is done. He's still not picking up. I'll just leave a voicemail. Andri, where are you? Please call me when you get this. He hasn't called me all day. I'm really worried. Breaking news. Tonight, a tragic car crash took place on the Kiv Cherkasi Road, and two individuals are seriously injured. Our reporter is at the scene of the accident. We're at the scene where it happened. According to the police, the car was heading towards Cherkasi and didn't notice a concrete block on the road. It rolled a couple of times and fell off the side of the road. And one of the victims died on the spot, while the other one is in a critical condition, however, is alive. Thank you.